Hello there guys, it's Stephen and Phil here back on footy.com with yet another video and today we're talking about a pretty controversial shirt, a shirt that could be worth an absolute fortune if you get in early. It's Russia's brand new home kit, well brand new something kit anyway, from Adidas for the Euro 2020 and it's caused a lot of headlines and we'll go into that very, very shortly. But for now, don't forget to subscribe to footy.com if you are a fan of football kit culture. We've done so many shirt videos this week, uh, including like Belgium, Spain, uh, who else we've done, Germany, uh, bad to Russia, of course, as well. Uh, who else? Uh, uh, yeah, we did. Japan, we did. Wales. Italy, there's, there's just yeah, there's absolutely loads, and there's more coming as ever on this channel. But today is the term of Russia and this very controversial kit. I'm, I'm going to hand it over to um, Phil to explain what's going on here with this kit and why it's so, caused such controversy. Mm, this was an interesting story which broke uh, not long ago, just about this time last week or a few days earlier. And basically what's happened here is that a shirt's been released and obviously Russia... It's been snubbed, Phil. It's been snubbed. Yeah, it? so because the shirt came out at the same time as the other kits and obviously, you know, there was all the usual PR from Adidas themselves even. Uh, but curiously, and you may have noticed if you are a fan of Russia or international football, that they didn't actually wear it at the weekend. They didn't and there indeed. is a reason. There is, yeah. Now, basically, uh, as you can see looking at the kit now, um, it's all about those cuffs, which obviously uh, is a bit of a... Um, well, it's a bit of a trademark already so far with the new Adidas kits. A few of them yep. done it, uh, most notably uh, Germany, uh, Wales did it as well. <laughs> yeah. uh, and some of them have been designed to look like flags. And this was very much the intention here, but it's all about the portrayal of this in particular. Mm. Now, as you notice, it's gone red, blue, white as we look at it in the press pictures, which unfortunately, <laughs> for Russia fans, resembles the Serbian flag. Now, obviously, if you invert it, if they're the way around when you're celebrating, and like, <laughs> it's the Russian yeah, flag. Yeah, that, that was a line which was really funny when but, they were um, the saying, yeah, when the fans are cheering. In, but I mean, let's be honest, for 99% of the time, it looks like the Serbian flag. I mean, yeah. I understand why that would uh, annoy some people. Uh, and it has unfortunately annoyed him. And the Russian team actually came out, and this is a quote from, uh, let's have a look. The Russian Football Union said, um, in the upcoming game, the Russian national team will continue using the kit in which it began the qualifying round. So they basically just, um, they've dropped it. Uh, mm. And despite it being a, a pretty decent kit, it's all right, you know, um, which we'll get on to in a second, it's yep. got a bit of notoriety now. Um, it's the kit that never was, potentially. Do you think they'll just change it? Yeah, obviously, this the, the fact that the kit has obviously been produced and it was available on sale means that it would be... I mean, surprising. There's probably two directions Russia will go. They'll either stick with the old kit, which would be quite quite a story if they continue that. Obviously, they already won the World Cup, so it would be really unusual for us to see a team do that. I think pretty more likely, and a lot of people have said, um, a few simple changes on this kit, of course. Yeah. I mean, you could just flip the colours. I say that, flip the colours. It's obviously quite funny because the red... If you red, blue, the... Well, in that France flag, then, as well. <laughs> like, well, that's yeah. it. If they did, yeah, there's, there's all sorts of... I mean, that's the thing. That it's obviously quite a... Uh, a common set of colours so I think I would imagine uh, tweaks to this one would, would make sense but who knows I mean I, personally it'd be quite interesting to see them use the old kit it would give this kit even more notoriety oh, so, did it go on uh, sale as well didn't it it did yeah I, to be honest I think it is still on sale uh, I'm going to check, check on 40.com now Oops. yeah let's have a look and see um, if it's actually on sale I think it might be I think, I'm site. pretty sure it is I mean obviously they've produced a, a heck of a lot of them because uh, all the national teams well, it's gone through the whole press um, shoot. You wonder why these, these things don't get noticed, don't you? Like, yeah, a lot of people were saying that. Um, yeah, no, it's, it's, on it's, sale. Uh, it's on sale. It's on sale on our site right now. At least, uh, yeah, yeah, it's just, you can buy it. So there yeah. you go. Um, so what do you think of this kit anyway, before all the hype? Yeah, well, this is interesting because it is one of those uh, new designs with the Condivo template. Yeah. Um, but it, it's definitely quite a good one in that template. Uh, you know, we I think the colours just lend itself naturally to it, don't they? They do, yeah. I mean, I, I don't love the template, but... No, not do but I. Given the, as you said, the colours do work well, I think it makes a lot of sense, actually. And funny enough, even the cuffs, though they've got the order wrong, I can see the thinking because one of the standout features of the... They, um, they work. Yeah, yeah. They, they work. And it was funny for Russia's uh, kit in the World Cup uh, just last year. A lot of people commented on on the socks. I remember in the opening game, and they had basically the flag on the top of the socks. So you can see why they'd want to be quite patriotic with this one. Um, and I think you know the design. Obviously, the the pattern we've talked about is a little bit random. 
I think that's what stops it from being yeah. a really good shirt or even a good shirt. But I can see a lot of people seem to like this one when it came out. And I can see why. There are some good features. Uh, it's going to be interesting. We've got like a, a Sonic kind of thing going on here in terms of the first version. Yeah, of the that's... that's and they, can, they can only win if they come back. So if they come yeah. back with something incredibly patriotic now, uh, they've got, it's going to be incredibly successful. Uh, and obviously, if there's any part of the world that's patriotic, um, Russia is quite a patriotic part of the world. They yeah. are very proud, rightfully so. You know, it's a great country. Uh, and... You, you, things like this you just think how does he get past the test uh, you're like well a lot of people said that and, and they're good questions and ones which I can't really answer because a lot of people saying you know who's responsible for signing off the kit of course and from my limited understanding there are several points in the process where, where there'll be back and forth between Adidas and the Russian Federation um, fans are a different world though aren't but they that's fans I, are yeah. a lot more tribal than anyone in the federation would be and Indeed. that's just how and, it is so and like... that's the thing I, I don't know what the, the trigger point of course for changing it was but clearly there was a, a fan reaction I mean equally I must say a lot of fans got in contact with me and were saying you know what's the fuss about the, the russia Serbia relations are quite good at the moment but I think regardless of <laughs> quite good of, at the moment of um, you know politics or even kind of the historical relationship um, it's yeah, not even a Russia Serbia thing though. If, if an England shirt somehow resembled the Scottish flag or vice versa, hundred well, percent yeah. someone would be saying it. it's I just mean, very that, much a national pride. That, thing, so. That's the funny thing with the Scotland shirt, which we'll review in another, another video. That that one actually had some some white and red cuffs, which kind of made me laugh. Albeit they're not in the flag or across the yeah, yeah. but but yeah, it feels like in general this definitely highlights to me that Adidas probably were just a bit lazy in some of their designs basically um, yeah. go, go and buy it because it's going to be mm. uh, a bit of a cut time I reckon at some point I know we're saying that but genuinely probably will be well, even, I, I think last year's shirt is a lot more harder to find but they, I did see one on for 15 quid on um, on footy.com yeah so I put a link to both uh, of those the current shirt and, the, and the, the current shirt now is, is the one that's basically you served the new shirt so that's yeah. Uh, yeah. a little bit iconic as well and 15 quid for the which is I think, shirt. possibly okay. one or two sizes but yeah that, I mean if they keep that for next yeah. year that's that's a really classic oh, shirt so give this one a score then yep go on what do you reckon yeah I mean this one it's in it's in the template the Kandiva template <laughs> and it's definitely not one of my favourites just I think it's, it's like the colour it's quite just, generic for me it's, it's, yeah, it's not a bad case it's, it's very like, chunky the most interesting thing is the story and that's why it that's it and, and obviously from a story perspective it is it's worth buying but I think if I had to review it in isolation it's definitely in the sort of lower to mid tier of Adidas kits you know it's not challenging yeah well, certainly nowhere near Japan and the best stuff, but it's also not as bad as The best as template kits are the ones where it looks like they've actually like spent more than five minutes fitting a kit into a template. And yeah. everything about this looks like they've got a template and like, or oh, red, done. You yeah, know, like, that's, that's the thing. Pop it and put it in for the Russian flag. And that's, it feels like it took them five minutes to do this. You know, that's the, that's the thing where if you've got a template, there's nothing wrong with a template, but at least how you use the template, how you mix it up and stuff like that. Yeah, like indeed, there's, there's very yeah. little of that here, is it sadly? Yeah, so I think it's definitely not a bad shirt, but it's also not particularly exciting. So what do you reckon um, score wise? Probably I might even put it a bit below Argentina. I think I gave that was it low seventies. I'd yeah. probably give this a seventy actually. Yeah. Uh, which is wild, you think, wasn't it? Yeah, and this isn't a bad shirt. And I do think, um, you know, regardless of the cuffs, uh there are some good ideas from Adidas, but it's just not, a, not as exciting as other ones. Well, uh, it's not as exciting as the story, definitely. Uh, that is the shirt that Russia won't wear. So this is, we'll see how this unfolds and we'll give you an update on the channel, that kind of stuff, as and when that develops. But for now, guys, let us know what you make of the kit and the whole story in general in the comments below. Make sure you go and check out uh, all the other shirts that we've mentioned, including like the Spain shirt, the Belgium shirt, Italy shirt, and all the other ones on the channel. Hit that subscribe button, like, comment, all the usual stuff. I've been Stephen, this is Phil, and we'll see you very soon.